Hello and welcome to another Tutti Tutorial. On today's Tutti Tutorial, we're going to talk about some of the notifications you may receive from our RSPP team or our publishing team. So today we have seven common notifications and how to ensure that you can move past these to publish your game in China. Number one, overseas ads are not permitted in China. What action do you need to take? Simple. Remove all embedded overseas ads from your APK and then submit your APK again. Once our super SDK has been integrated into your project, we will provide all of the local ads for you. Number two, duplicated submission. Now we have a cool feature of duplicating your project on our dashboard, but if you try and submit two of the same project name, that will cause a problem. What action do you need to take? Confirm which version you would like to move forward with and simply delete the invalid project. Number three. Your authorization letter is still missing from your project. To continue with our publishing process, you need to submit an authorization letter. You can find a template on our partner portal. Using this template sample, Simply fill it in and upload a copy of your authorization letter. Number four, your app title is not in simplified Chinese. How to move past this? Simply translate your app title into simplified Chinese and resubmit. Number five, some more translation issues. You need to make sure that you have translated your app for the Chinese market. App2T provides a thousand words free translation for each project. Another 2T tutorial here about that. So submit the English language pack on our portal in an Excel spreadsheet format. We will translate the first a thousand words of each project. Number six, your app file did not pass the final review. What you have to do, check the integration, Download our latest Super SDK series, integrate that into your APK and resubmit. Number seven, the App2T Super Ads SDK has been updated. Perhaps some of our partners are using our old version of the Super SDK, but here at App2T, we are always making improvements and updating our Super SDK series. So make sure that you have downloaded the most recent version perform the SDK integration again, and submit your APK. So thank you for watching this Tutti tutorial. Hopefully these tips and actions on how to move past notifications will help our partners with publishing their apps and games into China. We'll see you again for another Tutti tutorial very soon.